Let's go over the virtual condition formulas for maximum material condition so that you can understand how to calculate it on your own. Let's start with the max material condition of an internal feature. Here we have the same part that we had in our first video on envelopes. However, now we've added the max material condition modifier. The virtual condition for an internal feature at MMC is the inner boundary. We're trying to calculate what is the smallest area this hole can never cross to make sure that when we assemble a part through it, that we know what our limit is. We would then design some sort of pin or fastener that would have to be smaller than this virtual condition to ensure that there's always clearance for assembly. The virtual condition is established from the maximum material condition. In this case, it's 0.230 is the max material condition size. We're given 0 0.010 position. And now our virtual condition is this inner limit that the part can never cross. Now remember, with virtual condition, you're allowed variable size tolerance, meaning that as your part gets larger, you gain more bonus tolerance. Now you can be further out of position with your hole because you have a larger hole, ensuring that the same size pin could still fit in there in the worst case. You will see though that despite however big or small the hole is, it still cannot ever cross this imaginary virtual condition boundary. Remember, your virtual condition now for an internal feature is your inner boundary. This is your MMC, your smallest size, minus your geometric tolerance. In this case, it's the MMC size 0.230 minus 0 0.010, which gives you a virtual condition of 0 0.220, the theoretical boundary that your hole can never cross into to ensure proper assembly. Since VC is the same regardless of hole size, you can see that you gain bonus positional tolerance as the hole size increases. Let's move on to virtual condition on an external feature for max material condition. We have the same type of part, only now it's an external feature instead of an internal feature. And we're still using the MMC modifier. In this case, it's your outer boundary that you're controlling with the virtual condition. Remember, the goal with MMC is to ensure proper assembly. We're trying to calculate the maximum position error and size error that could contribute to this part not assembling. So no matter what, no matter how far out of position this pin is or how big it is, as long as both of those are in tolerance, it can never cross this yellow boundary here and will always assemble if the hole is larger than this boundary. It's calculated in a similar way as an internal feature, only now it's the opposite condition. Here, what we have is a limit of size around the outer boundary. We have a 0 0.010 positional tolerance zone, and the yellow represents our virtual condition. Now with the pin at its MMC, you can see that it cannot go outside the extents of this yellow boundary. Now, when the pin gets smaller, it's allowed more position outside of that, but it still is maintained within the virtual condition boundary it still can't exceed that imaginary outer boundary that you're establishing. To calculate the virtual condition, we take the MMC, the largest size, plus the geometric tolerance. This is 0 0.270 plus 0 0.010, which gives us 0 0.280. This means that there's an imaginary cylinder surrounding this pin of 0 0.280 that no point on the surface can ever cross. This helps us calculate the hole size that would assemble, meaning that we'd have to have a hole that's always larger than 0 0.280 to always ensure that the part would fit into it. Since the virtual condition is the same regardless of how big or small your pin is, you gain bonus tolerance as the pin size decreases or departs from MMC. However, your virtual condition 
maintains its same size. 